this is a historic moment I am with this part here where, where do I put it I am declaring the Reliant Fox project open this is um, a tailgate hinge I think it's actually from a robin um, or a kitten um, but this will replace the broken hinge on the top of the fox and I know you're thinking come on surely a bigger problem is the complete lack of an engine fitted to it but um, I want to be able to store bits in the back and some bits are already stored in the back so getting the tailgate working is kind of essential and this is stage one on that particular journey um, I think a good old wire brushing is in order and possibly a soaking coca-cola other brands are available and in fact are what I have I think they're from the co-op so um, yeah let's get started now I did say I was going to have a tidy up before getting started on the Fox but seeing as the 2CV is in here still and um, the Fox isn't I'm going to declare tidying up out of the scope of this first project um, I might need a new wire brush though I don't want to seem better days hey there's some bristles left we'll give it a go in and there we are stewing away in a vat of cola we shall leave that and the project shall continue some other day so after it's bathing coca-cola um it hasn't really cleaned up much at all this thread is still a bit iffy but I, i've gone over it with some um uh, wd-40 and just run the nuts up and down they seem happy enough so we're going to replace oh there we go that hinge there that's the one that's broken the metal pin that runs through it to allow the hinge mechanism has just sheared entirely so um, I think stage one is probably going to be to get the um, tailgate off right now we've got the support arm detached that should be it hey. Okay, Let's bring you in for a closer look. So um, this wire, there's, there's no quick disconnect anywhere, but that's okay. I've got the access I need to get to the hinge. Naturally, this is turning into another ass of a job. You can see the oxidization there, where the metal screw has been reacting with what I think is an aluminium hinge, um, but this one has just rounded out. So I'm going to have to try grips and needle nose pliers. I just got it starting to turn when it just rips the head completely. So let's see if simple long nose pliers can move it at all. No, it's probably long nosed um, grippy things. These came through with my 2CV. Thank you, Alan Rogers. You left it in it. Um, it's a bit broken, but um, you can just about convince it to work sometimes. So yeah, so much for this been a nice simple just swap the hinge sort of a job. Let's hope the rest of the rebuild doesn't end up in this bad, eh? That uh, needs to be tighter. Yeah, that's really not properly keen on the idea of moving. I feel we may end up drilling this one out. Oh, that ain't going to grip any higher than that. Oh, yeah, it is time to go. Oh, so is the fiberglass. 
Yeah, look at that, that's definitely turning. Oh no, that just breaks the jaws. Oh, I'm going to keep buggering about with that for a bit longer. Uh, this could take a while. Aha! Come on, you dirty little group. Hurrah! That's one dead little screw out. Let's take yourself a bolt out there. Just put in just to stabilise it while we're putting on so much force on it. There we go. Interestingly, more of the original blue appearing as I do this. Maybe I can just scrape off the green. Who knows? Right, uh, where do I put the new hinge? Here it is. Right, let's get this ready to go on. Voila! We have a top that stays up. I've also found out how to lower the bottom half. Um, I'm guessing there should be a check strap to kind of stop it dropping that far, or maybe not. But nonetheless, um, that's been done. So um, I now have a practical fox in my hat. Keeps falling off my head and mushrooming. Um, so that's pleasing. Now you can see we've already got some stuff in the back of here. Um, various oddments, that looks like a heater hose. Uh, Tiny little cooling fan, isn't that sweet? Tiny little radiator. Go, oh, get you past the rover. And the alternators in here, and a spare wheel. After considerably more faff, I've managed to um, get the tailgate lock working. Well, I'll say lock. I'm not sure it actually locks, but um, yeah, it does allow me to open my hatchback. And close it again, so that's definitely progress. So you do that, uh, and you undo the internals. I think, yeah, that's one of them. Oh, these these are tight. There we go. Voila! Access to my little car. Yeah. Shut that again. Close that again. Progress! Let's do a bit more on the old Reliant. Um, here is the new engine. Uh, it is an 850cc engine from a Robin. Uh, we've got this plug out at the back here. I've just taped over the inlet and exhaust manifolds, which are both on this side. And um, I'm gonna shove some water in it. See if we can not give it a bit of a flush out. All right, let's see what happens. I'm not sure if it's got a thermostat in it, but... Yeah, that would suggest it has. Right, okay, let me see. Water pump out there. Aha, there we go. We have filled the block. So we've got water coming out at the back, plenty of bubbles as well. Cover those two holes up, try and force a bit more through. A bit more on the thermostat bypass down here as well. That's coming through nice and clean. That's encouraging. Try this in that here. Yeah, it's all coming through nice and clean. That's good, it looks like we've got good cooler flow 
around the engine. No leaking from the core plug at the back. Um, I wonder what's meant to screw in there. But, oh, I think there is meant to be something there. Uh, yeah, it's good. Excellent. If you've ever wondered how heavy a Reliant engine is, it's about this heavy. That is not very heavy at all. Should make getting it in a bit easier. So that's going to be it for the Reliant Fox for now. We've proved um, the coolant passages are clear. Um, there's a few things I need to do. I've got a new water pump to go on. So I might as well do that, that would be a good idea. And um, now I need to try and work out what bits I'm missing to make this car run. Or make this engine run. Um, there is a part of me that would like to try and get it running before going in the car. But I haven't got any means of securing it really. So maybe that's a very silly idea. But um, yeah. Stay tuned for more adventures of the Fox. I suppose I can't put off that garage tidying any longer. Actually, I do need to reproof the 2CV's roof before she comes out, so it might be a while before there's further progress, but nonetheless, the Fox project has begun. And, um, yeah, I, I can't wait to actually drive it. Uh, I fear we're a few months away from that, but nonetheless, progress is being made. Uh, oh, I'm running out of battery. Um, shut up. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget you can buy all the Hubnut goodies... Uh, hubnut.fws.store and uh, I shall see you in a future video. Farewell!